top speeds of around 210 miles per hour heading into the overtaking opportunity of turn 13, the 2.7 miles of the circuit Gilles Villeneuve are nice some leaves. of the quickest on the Formula One calendar. There are 14 corners in total, with 60% of the lap taken oh, at full throttle. Welcome to another An episode of my team career. Right, Canada, round five. Open to build on a good finish from what we had at Azerbaijan. Um, open this time, we can do quite well. Probably not, admittedly. I'm shaking my head in the car, so that's not a good sign already. Um, Looking forward to this. Canada's usually a decent track of mine, but there's a great shot of some leaves again. I don't understand why we keep looking at leaves. You see the qualifying grid. Before we begin, let's um, take a quick look at the grid line for today's race. Good job yesterday tough. from Practice went okay. Fresh start from practice one again, of course, because I was doing. Um, Considering the rest of the grid, the development we programs have didn't have any issues with those. Um, qualifying. And we were lucky. Um, Science. You'll see in a minute, Vettel, but we were exceptionally close um, to getting out of qualifying one. Um, there seems to be quite a big split between the cars of the Mercedes. There you go, 17th. We were less than a tenth of Giovinazzi. Um, looking at our development and, and everything, Mazepin. our car is quicker uh, than the Alfa Romeo. But around Canada with the engine being so okay, I think we're lacking race. top line uh, straight line speed. It's not been too hot for us um, in qualifying. We just got out muscled in the final sector. See what every tyres everyone's on. So two medium tyres. I'm going to make it a third. So I think the mediums will be quite well around here. So not sure what that is meaning there. So let's just change that, mediums, and then stint two on a soft. Um, I'll try 11.7 I think, and go from that. I'm not really sure what else we can do, I'll turn the fuel down a little bit. Let's put that to 18.4, I don't need that much fuel in. Um, but I'm, 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 I'm hopeful, you know, I think we can challenge the Alfa Romeos. I've noticed in the in the in the race in the development race, um, it seems to be a bit of Class B, Class C going on. Um, I think Alpine, after having a wobble last race at Baku, um, they've managed to put some upgrades on the car. They've jumped ahead, so Class C now just consists of Alfa Romeo, Buzz, Williams, and Haas. It's quite close between all four, four teams so we've got to make sure we just try and beat them hopefully a couple of retirements ahead of us might get us P13 but that's very much wishful thinking but let's get into the race anyway Okay, go through all the gears if you can. We need to make sure the engagement is okay before the start. We're going to want to put some temperature into the tyres and brakes. We need to keep the engine cool though. Cool, nice one, Jeff. But that was a good launch. They don't go too high with the revs. If we can do that, we'll be very pleased. But I won't. See how we get on. Hope we don't do anything stupid. Good launch. I'm going to charge right in into turn one. I'm going to go around the outside of everyone. Ooh, this is squeaky. Okay, we're monitoring somewhere on the ICE. Be aware that we will start to see a loss of power. Oh, that's the grass. Got away with it. Just avoid the dock on. Everyone's slow into turn six, so I'll take a position off off comp. You. Happy days. Okay, we got through the lap one chaos so far. Um, shut up, Jeff. Copy. Ooh, that nearly caught me. 
yellow flag back there, I'm sure what for, gee, that has gone backwards there. Eh? It's just haven't got the legs. Haven't got the legs to go past Stroll. Just been hit by Ockham. Let's have a replay on that. I'm not going to do a, a flashback, but there we go. Alp Alpine versus Wellington. I, I run a little bit wide into turn one. And he's just he's just hit the side of me. Alpha hasn't got enough of a run. Coming out the corner. That's a bit messy. Necessarily as well. I'm really struggling now at 10.6. Just cannot get the power down compared to the AI, but that's so quick. Out of the hand throw here. Because that have the confidence in the shooter, and off off on, it's just going to steam past me. That's how slow I am through that. Back somehow. <laughs> That's okay, we are on the medium tyres. I was going to have the run on making to this. All the champions just gave him enough room. I squeeze his way through, but. Now he's going to the inside, surely. DRS this time. will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the oh, DRS I'll zone. Give as much space as I can, that better not give any damage. Shut the door on him. Here he comes this time, he's got me. Defend on the brakes down into the hairpin. And just straight back up the inside of them. Holding on. But I'm not going to do IRS this time. But I'm going to get done by Mike in as well, yeah. Yeah, and that's in all those three places. Maybe not, it's nice to hold on there. Ah, that's annoying. And there's the first of our flashbacks. Ah, oh, stupid mistakes. Here they come. I was literally just thinking, oh, I haven't had to use a flashback, and I have just used two in the space of. Last in a minute. Right, yeah, I forgot. I just cannot get off that corner that quickly. There's been an incident on track, but officials aren't looking to push for a safety car right now. Just be careful. Great. No safety car, that's annoying. Absolutely mullered. How is she going? I've got 
damage as well. Really good until he picks. We're slowly gaining on the car in front. Try to keep this momentum. Gap to teammate behind is 2.7 seconds. On these running while he's in 20. Strategy is available on the MFD. Copy that. I don't know what saying, but I don't know it's telling us to change it. It's stupid. Race of Champions, Race of Champions, World Champions. Side at turn one. Thank you. He's just it, mate. Please, Pete Hamilton in that out. That's good news. There's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time, and there are no plans for a safety car right now. that when Raikkonen is running to the back of me. Okay, gap ahead is 3.1 seconds. Something. Nah, I'm not even going to bother this one. Okay, gap ahead is 3.1 seconds. Mm -hmm. Almost the car's been in food and house. Guan Yu is coming in for his stop. And Guan. Bottas gets out just in front of me. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the softs.
Oh, we don't stay up. Okay, keep on him. He might make a mistake. Even if he does make a mistake, he's still going to be too quick for me. just to make little cameo appearances near the front. In this lap, push now. I'm just concentrating really hard. Not to make a mistake, here comes Perez. I don't want to. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to have the RS. This is going to going to go straight into the pit lane. I don't know why to break for the pit lane, so I've got to get this run first time. There we go, got it. That'll do. Turn into the pits. Card is also pitted. Go, go, go! Good pit start. Three seconds. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. So we're going to come out behind the Alphas. That's a little bit annoying. But we are now on the softer compound. I can push on these tyres as well. It's really nice. That's important. Oh, look how slow they are going into. Oh, Russell actually has to jump every long, great. Strategy from Russell. That's really helped him out. He's under threat though. Oh, we're going to have to go around the outside with the pair of them. What a move! What a move! Look at that. 
had to be committed to that. Jesus. What a name. I'm well chuffed with that. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Point six on the field. One second. the back of one get the RS blast past them. He's actually shut the door on us. Understood, copy that. He's actually shut the door on us. Absolute idiot. Complete, go now. There was a gap there and he just moved across and that was that. That was that. I'm not going to catch Mazepin and... Safety car, anyone? Really annoying. Not very stupid at trying to do that. I should have just done what I did originally, just gone for the inside. Nope, that's it. Try something different. And now I'm gonna finish stand up last. There's four laps of fuel remaining. Too much. If I get a warning for cotton corns. And what happened? Let me know you're okay. <sighs> well, that just sums it up, doesn't it? All I needed to do. The Mercedes team get round Raycon. And what I actually so did I'll was make it worse. <sighs> I am so terrible. No. And funny. now let's take a look oh, at the driver's funny. standings. More points I for Valtteri Bottas, further solidifying his lead at the top of the table. Now let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Fernando Alonso. Wherever he is, whatever team he's in, when is he not just brilliant? He'll give you a performance. Ugh. Oh, how disappointing is that? Nicky's and Mazepin's going to be beating me in the rivalry. Yeah, look at that. Great. It's just what we wanted. It's not going well. Cash, we didn't get the bonus. 
because nobody cares about the boy who crashes anymore. Hmm. Well, that was an interesting race. Should have been a lot better, but it wasn't. Because it didn't go to plan once again. Right, let's see what we could do. Um, let's do that. Um, get some morale boosting going. Get a bit of sponsorship in. And yeah, I might as well get a bit of that in. That's a good use of my time. Um, facilities are still crap. But we can at least upgrade our resource points, which is important because we need more. We need more of them. Um, so we need to get everything to spec one, really. R and D. That's where we are at the minute. So I think another aero, another aerodynamic piece that'll come in handy. And that'll just put us a little bit higher up. Gets between the French and the Austrian Grand Prix. That'll be good. Two weeks. I'll take make sure the department's happy, everyone's happy. Well, apart from powertrain people. Uh, that's all the parts we've got in development, so it's you know we've got quite a lot coming. Especially on the 28th of June, that's quite a big impact, so hopefully it'll latch us onto the back of the Alpha Tauris. You can see we're just pretty much neck and neck with Alpha Romeo at the minute. Let's have a look and see what else is going on, if there's anything I've missed. Guan Yu. It's only at 74, 72 focus, so he's not happy about something. It's on 68 rating. Who's unhappy in the paddock? Hamilton's not very happy, apparently. Raikkonen's at 68. 70 for that Perez. No wonder you drive for Red Bull, you'll never be happy. Mick's very, very angry. Could we sign Mick maybe next season? Would that be an idea? You know, Millings in the Schumacher. Yeah, you got a very good driver and an idiot. What's our customization? We've I think is it in a moat we've just unlocked. Well, I'm never going to be number one in this career mode. Um, right, so let's get it boosted forward. So front wing gurney flaps come through, that's good news. Team building's done, the resource points, that's okay, good. We've had the new parts come through the fabrication process. Uh, we'll have them with us for the next department. Grand Prix. Would you take a look at this for us, please? What do they want? Yeah, sure. We don't have the money. What? Not an easy decision, but you handled it well. Thanks. Do we not have the money? I wanted to accept that and it wouldn't let me. That is really, really disappointing. I had the money to do it. And it said no. Drat. A bit more money coming in. And that gets the promotion filling up. So yeah, not the best of Canadian Grand Prix. This is going to be even worse. I'm so bad at Paul Ricard. It's not my circuit. Um, but that's the end of the Canada episode. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, and whenever it might be in the big wide world. Have a good one. See you soon.